Butted right at the first baseman. And that's an easy play. Oh, he missed him. How in the world did that happen? That is extreme agility by a former football player. That looked like he was heading into the secondary and evaded the free safety. Oh, well, he reached with a hand. And the ball wasn't in the hand. Of course, Clint Hurdle's going to make a very slow walk out there, and he'll turn around back into his dugout to see if he should uh, have him take a look at this on replay. You can't even do that in a Mercedes. Well, maybe be that. running 30 miles an hour and slam on the brakes, and then and right to the shortstop on contact. Hayward was headed home. He's in a rundown, and he avoided the tag, and all hands are safe. How in the world did Hayward? Keep himself in the baseline and stay safe. And did Hayward hurt himself on the dive back to the bag? He's waving that he's okay. He got a right-handed thrower, of course, of so the gloves on the grass the infield side. Couldn't reach across his body. He wasn't that far out of the line. In fact, he wasn't even on the grass. Just jackknifed out of the way. The attack on offense is, is a great thing. Alex runs, and now he's going to get in a run down. Escobar. Come on. Boy, Alex wow. is doing his part, and now Escobar caught <laughs> in between third and home. And did he get around the tag? He did! Just the way they practice it before the game tonight. <laughs> That's just how you write it up. How about that? Alex Gordon, he took off almost like it was planned, but with one out, usually you do a play like that with two outs. You get that a try was to like try a schoolyard game of pickle. It was, and, and it was the finest job of staying in a rundown I've seen all year. Both guys, look at Escobar, gave him the move. I mean, there's some running backs in the NFL that would love that move. He just tricked Gomes, and his jock is hanging. Beautiful move right there. He missed him with the tag. Great call by the umpire, and they scored a run, and the crowd loves it here. They want a curtain call from Escobar. <laughs> they have Ellsbury running early and now caught in a rundown. It continues, and he's safe back to the back. Now, the one thing you try not to do is to get a pitcher part of the rundown. They're not conditioned for rundowns, and Ellsbury with a great job to get by Kevin Segrist. Up too far, Ellsbury knew it, and he gets back to the bag. Matt Kemp has stolen seven. And on that pickoff play, the tag is never made, and Kemp is in there. Matt's pretty fortunate, a sheepish grin on his face. He looked back at Davy Lopes. And the Brewers trying to converge on him. And they gave him an opening. As soon as Reynolds had the ball. He holds the ball, but he doesn't do much of a fake on the pickoff throw. And by the time he gives it to Segura, Mark Reynolds had run him by Segura, and there was nobody to tag him. Segura got the ball, and there was Kemp going head first into the van. You put the ball in play somewhere. Swing and a miss. There goes the runner. Torrey puts on the brakes. Now he's going to get caught in a rundown. Now running back toward first base. Torrey trying to make some defensive back moves. And he's finally out. He must have thought he was Tory Jr. right there. Oh, now they're going to get him second base. We're calling interference here? Wow. How about that? Oh. oh, the White Sox apparently botched that one up. Here comes Robin Ventura. That's Gary Darling right there explaining uh, to Robin Ventura what happened. I think Tory eluded the tag. Well, there had to be some kind of interference because they gave him second base. 
I don't know if he was forced out of the uh, the baseline and if that's the call by Gary Darling but the explanation now is being handed down to Robin Ventura who's not too happy with it. Check these moves out. <laughs> yeah now it looks like uh, I think Dunn got in front of Tory Hunter is what they're going to call maybe. Watch Adam Dunn here. Tory ran into Dunn. This is a bad call. Yeah, you're right. It's a bad call. At the end, keep him closer. Turn Jamal Weeks about around the bat right-handed. Yeah. And Coco's going to be picked off the rundown, and it ends up in the hands of the pitcher who missed the tag, and Coco gets back. Wow. Wow. Who did it? So through it all, <laughs> we go right back to where we were. Coco Crisp at first base, and that's generally why you do not want the pitcher to get involved right. in the rundown. Exactly. The pickoff, Coco said, oops, I'm going on first move. They got me. And then to share throws to Cano, he avoids the tag by the pitcher who went over the head and then the head first slide. Martin thought maybe he had blocked him off. Let's see if Martin gets his shin guard in, but there's the pitcher missing, and Coco really not out of the baseline. Martin tried to put his shin guards down and he says he's safe and you're right Brandon Get Harrison home. And now Harrison will pop the train second and third. And the heel will run right at him. Harrison will try and stay in a rundown long enough to get Polanco there. Safe. He's still in the rundown. And he is still safe. Unbelievable. No way. That's impossible. That is impossible. He could not possibly have done that. He could not possibly have stayed in that run down long enough. He got caught. At the very least, Harrison stays in the run down long enough to get Polanco. And then yet, does he go out of the baseline there? There's any way they overrule this. This is as close as they come to tagging him. Right there. There goes Harrison. Good jump to throw down. And Harrison overslid. And now he gets himself into a rundown. And Josh is pretty good at these. Yeah, we've seen this before. And he gets past Rosario. Oh, oh, He's safe. Unbelievable. He did it again. And Nobody he, at the plate. He almost broke. And he almost could have scored. He does it again. It's incredible. Absolutely wild base running for Josh Harrison. <laughs> it's incredible. Unbelievable. Jay Hay all day on the bases. That is remarkable. <laughs> well, Weiss is going to come out and uh, they're going to take a peek at this. And Josh uh, apparently was going to be ruled safe on the steal and overslid the back. That's at least how you interpret it from watching the video. But now it is Keystone Cops as he runs right past Rosario.